Hey there folks and welcome back. I'm Chris from iLeather.com and today we're going to do a shaving video and this one's going to be a bit different. Um, we're going to use Soap Commander Influence which is a really nice scent. Um, this is their winter scent so uh, get this if you want it because they only have so much uh, left and once they run out it's it for the year. Uh, this has tobacco, cherry, and black tea. Uh, I love how they put the, the notes on the label. Really nice scent, scent strength. I'd call it about six, a little above uh, medium. I really get the cherry uh, and tobacco and the tea, actually. It's a beautiful scent that I think I will uh, really enjoy. Also, we're going to be using today a Feather Artist Club uh, style Chevette because people always ask, why don't you use straights? Well, I don't use straights. I don't want to get into the expense. Uh, and I don't want to get into the maintenance aspect, but today we'll use a Chevette. Uh, and as, if you remember the late Charles Roberts, he referred to, <laughs> to this as ninja class shaving because uh, it's very, very difficult um, for folks to use Chevettes because the blade is so thin and sharp. And uh, Charles and, and many people feel it's even more difficult than using uh, straight for that reason. So let me go ahead and uh, rinse the face and we'll come back and get started. Stay tuned. All right, and here we go with our Soap Commander Influence. Nice scent on this soap. And I won't be doing as much talking while I'm using the uh, Chevette because it requires a lot more focus or you will cut yourself. So I may uh, stop talking altogether while making my passes. Maybe put a little music in there or something. Speed it up perhaps. Um, I've always found videos where shaving videos where guys aren't talking and you know sort of explaining what's going on or making points of view boring just watching them shave so I'll try to speed that up so it's not too boring but um, folks have asked for this type of video so I'll do it uh, admittedly I will be rusty so there could be blood <laughs> hope not but I can't rule it out. I don't. It's been, I don't know, year, well, better than a year since I've used a straight or a Chevette type razor. So we will certainly be rusty, but we'll give it a go all the same. Certainly not afraid to give it a whirl. And, and here we go. Uh, the blade, by the way, is um, the. Feather Professional, and that feels nice. One of the things that is a risk, and I should be stretching, one of the things that's, uh, I feel you can cut yourself, is when you put the blade to your face. Um, some people like to sort of lay it flat against their face and then angle it, and you know, that's not a bad idea necessarily because it keeps you from uh, you know putting the blade against your face too too hard uh, which can happen all right let's shut up and pay attention to what we're doing here
All right, and as you can see there, I didn't escape patch one with uh, without a nick there, and I did that pretty much while putting the blade to my face. This uh, method requires really, really super concentration. If you lose focus for even a moment, you cut yourself. This is why one of the reasons I don't do it a lot because it. Before five in the morning, uh, my focus is not as good as it should be. But let's rinse the face, we'll come back to fast too. Anyway, don't be discouraged if you get into straight razor shaving or chevettes and you get a few nicks and cuts. It requires a gentle touch. It requires finesse. Uh, it requires focus. So if you're used to sort of half rate paying attention, that will not cut it with these style of razors as you, as you saw there. So be very careful. And one of the things I tend to forget as well is your lather needs to be a little bit wetter for straight razor shaving for a couple of reasons. One, that slickness is really required. And two, the lather will tend to dry out because it sits on your face longer. So you need to add some water to your lather mix and uh, it takes time, and I was never super proficient at it to begin with. So coming in rusty and doing it before 5 a.m., you know, is probably not the, the best of ideas. But, um, you know, you have to start somewhere. And we'll, we'll try to do this every now and again um, just to see how we do. Um, much more focus required. It's not even in the same ballpark as DE shaving. And I'll probably just do two passes today and see if we can get away with that. Because it does tend to get pretty close, naturally. The difficult areas for me are around the chin and uh, under the stash. Those are those are tough areas. Um, again, I should shut up and uh, <laughs> start paying attention. Another thing is when you switch hands to your non-dominant hand, that can be. That can be quite challenging if you're not used to that. And it is for me because I, I'm certainly not used to it. One thing I'll say is the guys who have a goatee certainly have an advantage because this area where the goatee would be is the most difficult to get <laughs> with a straight razor. So. Uh, that, that gives them a little bit of an advantage um, in terms of not having to get those really tough areas. But they're still talented, and I'm sure they could shave them just fine. But those are the most difficult areas where the contours are and all the rest. See, I had a, a nick on my chin, too. So as I told you, there, there could be blood, and <laughs> there has been. And I expected that, so it's not really a shock. It's not really a shock. Um, it happens. Don't worry about it. Just uh, do your best and keep plugging. That's all you can do. That right there is a difficult spot. Very difficult. And this right here requires a very light touch and some finesse and being rusty on my part does not help believe me <clears throat> we'll try not to aggravate the nick anymore you tend to not trust your non-dominant hands. So. All right, so we got through it, and uh, it wasn't horrible. It wasn't great. 
I nicked myself twice, but you know, for not having done it for, I don't know, maybe two years, eh, not too bad. Could be better, but you know, could be worse too. <laughs> Stay tuned, we'll come back for the post. All right, and on to the post we go with Thayer's Switch Hazel. And today is a great day for that with the cuts, and, or nicks, I should say. I have cut myself with a Chevette um, before where it took a long time to heal. So um, it requires, you know, absolute focus. It's nothing to be afraid of, but you can't take it for granted or lose focus even for a second or you will nick yourself. And, you know, again, being rusty doesn't help. But if it's something you want to try, um, you know, by all means, give it a shot. It, uh, it can be enjoyable, and if you really take the time to get to learn it, you know, it produces a nice shave. Just on the two passes, um, we actually got it pretty good, and I didn't really go against the grain, so not bad. Um, our sub-commander influence was quite good. Great people, great soap, loved it. Uh, we used the Feather uh, DX, I believe it's called, which I got off a of BST specifically for this purpose to use every once in a while. Maybe we'll do it once a week or something just to sort of develop a little more competency or maybe twice. We'll see how I feel about it. Um, wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. I'm not the one to emulate or emulate, not emulate is uh, set yourself on fire or combust. Uh, emulate <laughs> on straight razor technique because I'm really not proficient at it. So I was just doing that to show you, yeah, I can do it. Um, however, I'm, I'm not a, uh, I'm not proficient at it. Okay, today we're going to go with uh, the cherry theme. Our soap was cherry-ish, and we're going to go with Sterling Black Cherry, which is great stuff, really good quality aftershave. Has witch hazel in it also. Um, by the way, theirs is magic because it's made by witches. You thought I forgot, didn't you? I did not. I was just holding it back. Heck, let's go for another round. What the heck? It's Thursday. We've done a good job at work this week. Let's reward ourselves with another round of aftershave. All right. Okay, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, we will see you again soon. Until next time, let's help make the entire world shave great once again.